Okay guys, this is my A setup, my better camera. This is a Canon Vixia HF G10 camera. Um, and right now I've got the monitor turned around, but it looks like that. I've got on top a Zoom H5 audio recorder. And as you can see, I can monitor the audio there. And then that goes out from here, which is the you know monitor out, it's called line out. I don't know if you can see that, line out. Then that goes into the camera over here in to the microphone input. So I'm bypassing the camera audio. Um, I've got both plugged in, both are powered. So this has got power from the USB. This has also got power, so I just leave them plugged in. I could run them off batteries, but uh, I've had instances where they've shut off. So I just recommend using power. And then of course, XLR input for my audio from the Sennheiser shotgun mic that's over there. For lighting, I'm using this four pack of bulbs right here. And that adds to the natural light that's coming in from the windows. I've got these nice big windows over here. And I've also got a couple skylights up here, which give me a lot of natural light. And then there's a sliding glass door to the backyard. Um, for lights to fill, I've got these two side fills. These are really there to, to light the green screen, um, to fill in the green screen so I don't get shadows. And it also just gives more light for um, nice accents. And then my key light is here. And you'll see that's the light that kind of sneaks up on the back. Sometimes they call that a key light or a edge light and it gives more depth to the shot. And then I'm going to come around this side and show you that I also have a monitor. Hello, hello. I mean, ooh, it's kind of low. Hello. Um, I've got a monitor set up so I can see what I'm doing and uh, it just helps a lot. Otherwise you're looking at this tiny little camera monitor. Um, so I bought this monitor for, I don't know, 130 bucks at Fry's Electronics. Um, and that's it. So I'll show you what this setup looks like. And, uh, but this is, oh, also the last thing is this Bogan tripod. This is a very nice tripod. These Bogans are made in Italy, very smooth, fluid heads. It's got really smooth action, but, um, you don't need to buy a tripod like that unless you really are going to do a lot of panning and zooming, which I don't think you are. And I don't recommend that you do actually, but you can get good tripods. I'll show you in my B setup, I have a tripod I paid 20 bucks for at a pawn shop uh, or a thrift store. And uh, you can get decent tripods out there for not much money. All right, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like on film and um, not on film, on digital information. So you can hear and see what it sounds like. This is what my A setup looks and sounds like. I've got audio being gathered from the Sennheiser shotgun through the Zoom H5 directly into my video camera. I've got my main set of four lights over here, two side fill, back fill lights. Mostly those are to take any shadows out of the green screen so I can do my matte effects later. And then I've got a key light over on this side which is giving me a little edge lighting or keying on that side just to add depth, all right? So that's what this particular setup looks and sounds like. All right guys, this is my, what I call my B setup. Um, it's also a Canon Vixia, a little bit smaller than my other camera. I've got a Rode shotgun. Uh, this is a video camera mic. It's a shotgun mic. It's got a shock mount <laughs> and it goes directly into the camera audio setting here, the mic input. So this is what that looks like. I've got it on a, on a tripod that I picked up. I guess it's called a fusion. I picked this tripod up for 20 bucks at a thrift store. One thing I like about this is it's got this really cool hook and you can hang a, a weight like a sandbag or something from that and it gives it a lot more stability. But it's got pretty good action actually. It's pretty smooth. Like I said in the other video though, I'm not doing a lot of panning and zooming. Uh, in this setup, I'm using, I'm just using the little screen. So this would be an economical setup. I, I got both the camera and the tripod uh, used. I think I paid about $230 for this camera. Uh, this mic is 100 something. I'll put links to it below. This video, tripod, 20 bucks. And then you're just doing your lighting um, apart from that. So 
there you go. That's my B setup, mobile. I've taken this all around, all around the world actually, uh, this very setup. And this is what my B setup looks like. This is my smaller Canon camera. I've got the Rode uh, shotgun mounted right on top of the camera going directly into the camera for audio. I'm using pretty much the same lighting as I did for the other setup. So here's what that looks and sounds like. I think it works pretty well. You'll notice that I'm getting a little more room sound because I'm about three feet, three and a half feet from the microphone. I'm actually a little farther away from the mic. Um, and of course this mic is not the quality of my other shotgun mic, but still not bad for even talking head things directly into the camera. If you were gonna do a lecture, let's say, uh, and when you have to pull it back, pull it away for demonstrations, then you get a little more room sound. So let's hear what that might sound like. So here's the look and sound from six feet away. I'm still using the Rode shotgun mic. Uh, as you can probably tell, there's a little more room sound, a little more, uh, you know, boominess. It's my voice isn't as sharp and clear and resonant, um, but that's okay. This is demonstration area, right? So if you were gonna show something, uh, you'd need to pull back and this is what that would sound like. I am gonna experiment, however, I wanna bring that mic that's on the camera, now six feet away, I wanna put it on a stand a little bit closer, so I still get the same look, but hopefully the sound will be a little bit more intimate like it was when I was only a couple feet away. So let's see what that looks and sounds like. Okay, so now as you can see, I've brought the microphone uh, much closer. It's right up here, up just out of the shot. Um, the stand's over here, as you can see. Uh, but this is a more desirable audio situation now. I can do my demonstrations here. I can have the camera six feet away and I don't need to worry so much about getting a lot of room sound. The sound's a lot tighter. And I just have a clip. I, I'll show you guys a picture of this, but I just clip the, the little um, shock mount right into a clip. Super easy, super fast. No fancy equipment needed. I'm using a five foot uh, mini extension cable for the mic seems to be working really well. All right, so that's what that looks and sounds like. Okay guys, this is footage from my iPhone 5. Obviously uh, the audio leaves much to be desired, but I just wanted to show you what my iPhone would look like with basically the same lighting as the other cameras. And now I want to upgrade the audio with a little $40 unit and a much more expensive microphone. This is the C setup. This is a smartphone setup. And as you can see, I've got a little tiny tripod. I've got a phone clamp here, phone holder. This is by Wizgear. You can buy lots of different types of these. It just you know needs to mount on the tripod. Some have tripods attached to them. Uh, I'm using the in this particular setup, I was also using the face, the FaceTime camera, which is not as good as the other camera. But this setup allows me to, um, to see what I'm doing. So I'm actually out of memory on my phone, so I can't record. But this gives me the screen to look at while I'm shooting the video, even though the camera's not quite as good. Um, I've got my audio running in from the Tascam IXZ interface and all this is doing is allowing me to plug my high quality microphone into my phone via this unit. I've got some controls over here. I did another review on this so I'm not going to go into it now. Uh, I found that getting an extension is a great idea for this. Um, if you do get an extension make sure that it's for the uh, sleeve ring ring tip cable which is a four part cable. Four part, uh, yeah. So don't get the three one, don't get the mini that's like a regular headphone, get the f one with four sections. And then that runs straight into your headphone jack in your phone. And that's basically it. The only other um, aspect of this is this, which is a USB remote on off switch. You pair it with your phone and then you can just start and stop your video or take uh, still images with a switch. It's just like pressing the switch on your phone except that you can keep it with you. So this is really handy. I highly recommend getting one of these. This is a little mount holder that it comes with to hold your phone. 
if you don't have a tripod, but I would re I would really recommend having a tripod. And then I've got this whole thing right now just on a music stand, but you could use anything to put this on. You could have a taller tripod or um, or a tabletop. Right now I'm just using a little porta stand. All right, so that allows me to get the audio from my shotgun mic down through the Tascam unit into the phone. So let's see what that looks like and sounds like. And this is what the same camera is doing when I'm using the Tascam uh, IXZ audio interface for my phone. So I've got the Sennheiser shotgun mic running into the IXZ and then that's going into my phone. And as you can tell, I'm getting a lot more intimate sound, a much tighter sound, not as much room ambience, which is great. There is a little bit of noise that's added via this unit. I mean, for 40 bucks, you know, it's, it's doing a great job for 40 bucks. If you wanted to spend a little more, you could easily do that. I could run the mic through the zoom like I do for my, my higher end camera, but I wanted to show you a very, very affordable option for using your smartphone and using a better quality microphone and getting more of a professional uh, signal, even though there is a little bit of noise in there. Okay, so that's what this uh, looks and sounds like. So we can, again, we can compare this to the uh, iPhone without the mic. Here it is again without the microphone. This is just the iPhone by itself. And then with the mic. Okay, so that wraps up the ABC uh, comparison of three different types of audio setups, cameras, and audio options. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, give it a thumbs up and make sure to join the channel. Thanks for watching.